Hello, in today's video, I'm going to talk about the natural sweetener stevia and if it's a safe sugar alternative to consume. To start, stevia is a natural sweetener that comes from the stevia plant. The stevia plant is a bushy shrub that's part of the sunflower family. There are around 150 species of stevia that are originally native to South America, specifically Brazil and Paraguay. The scientific name for stevia is stevia rebodiana, but it's also known as rebodioside, A, Reb A, Rebian, and stevia rebodiana bertoni. Stevia has nearly zero calories per serving, so it is often considered a zero calorie sweetener. It is very sweet, being 200 to 300 times sweeter than cane sugar. The sweetness comes from the stevioglycosides present in the plant. It is generally processed to a liquid or powdered form. Some find it bitter in taste, while some find that it tastes like menthol. It has no nutritional benefits. It is simply used to sweeten food and drink and manage sugar consumption. Stevia has long been used in food and drink dating back to the 16th century when people often added it to beverages and to make tea. Popularized in 2008 when it first hit the U.S. market, today China is the primary exporter of stevia products. Stevia is produced in several varieties, each having varied processing methods and ingredients. However, most stevia is produced by harvesting the leaves, then by drying, water extraction, and purification. Some involve soaking the leaves in water, passing them through a filter with alcohol to isolate the Rev A extract, ribotioside A. Then that extract is dried, crystallized, and combined with other sweeteners and fillers depending on the type being produced. If combined with other sweeteners, the end stevia product looks more like sugar in appearance and texture. So with that said, stevia is sold in many forms. As stevia blends, which are combined with other sweeteners such as maltodextrin, dextrose, and erythrol, pure extracts, which contain only Reb A and can be in liquid or powdered form, and green leaf stevia, which is the least processed form and is essentially whole stevia leaves that have been dried and ground. Processed, unpurified stevia is known as crude stevia. It has a bitter taste and unpleasant smell until it's bleached and decolorized. Overall, it takes about 40 steps to produce stevia from leaf to extract. As you now know, stevia is primarily used to sweeten food and drinks. Many people with specific medical conditions, such as diabetes, use stevia to reduce their sugar intake and manage their blood sugar levels. People also use stevia to support their weight loss efforts, since it's said to reduce sugar consumption. Some popular brand name stevia products are Pure Via, Truvia, and Stevia in the Raw. Common processed foods that contain stevia are desserts, gum, baked goods, candy, yogurt, ice cream, sauces, pickled foods, soft drinks, and prepared vegetables. They also come in bags and as drops for bacon and add into drinks. When it comes to stevia's effects on health, thoughts on those effects are split down the middle. Some stated benefits of consuming stevia are, it's known to reduce calorie intake mainly because it's a very low calorie food, much lower than sugar. Those consuming stevia will naturally eliminate the calories consumed if they opted for sugar. It's important to note that this is only if you consume low calorie foods that contain stevia. Stevia is often added to foods such as cookies that are high calorie. Also, stevia blends will often have other high calorie sweeteners such as dextrose. It also reduces blood sugar levels which makes it ideal for those with type 2 diabetes. There has been research that suggests that stevia may be a safe and effective way to manage blood sugar levels, one being an eight-week study on rats with diabetes that showed how stevia extract decreased their blood sugar levels and hemoglobin A1c by over 5% compared to rats on a controlled diet. But again, the type of stevia you consume matters. Stevia blends may contain other sweeteners that can actually increase blood sugar levels. It's best to use stevia products in moderation or pure stevia extract, which have a greater positive effect on lowering blood sugar levels. Other benefits are reduced cholesterol levels, reduced risk of cavities, and reduced sugar intake. It's also important to note that there are not enough studies on the health benefits of stevia, so further research is needed to confirm if those benefits are universal for many. On the other hand, there are noted side effects of stevia consumption. 
There are several concerns over stevia's safety, especially with excessive and long-term consumption. The main one is its effects on those sensitive to stevia. Though recognized as safe for consumption, as with many ingredients, stevia can impact people differently. A main side effect is stevia's effect on gastrointestinal health. Some stevia products contain sugar alcohols like sorbitol and xylitol, also sweeteners that are linked to digestive issues in sensitive people. Some specific issues are diarrhea, bloating, stomach cramps, and nausea. This is especially a problem with excessive consumption. And while some state that stevia can help one reduce their calorie intake, since it's a very low calorie sweetener, some believe that it does the opposite. Instead, cause them to consume more calories throughout the day. Other concerns with stevia consumption, especially excessive consumption, are reduced blood pressure and blood sugar levels, which can disrupt the effectiveness of specific medications one has taken. Some have recommended that those taking certain medications or who have specific health conditions should talk with their doctor before consuming significant amounts of stevia. And pregnant women. Though there's limited evidence on the safety of stevia during pregnancy, animal studies found that stevia in the form of Reb-A does not negatively affect fertility or pregnancy outcomes when consumed in moderation. With children, it's recommended to monitor the stevia intake, making sure they do not see the acceptable daily limit of 1.5 milligrams per pound of body weight or 4 milligrams per kilogram. At this point, it seems like stevia is a controversial ingredient to consume. Unfortunately, there's not enough research on the health effects of all forms of stevia on humans with long-term and regular consumption. Nevertheless, the FDA currently approves steviolglycosides, the refined extracts of stevia, such as Reb-A, as GRAS, which is generally recommended as safe for consumption. However, they have not approved stevia leaf and crude stevia extracts as GRAS. The reason for this is whole leaf stevia and raw stevia extracts lack adequate research to confirm their safety. Some other regulatory agencies that approve refined extracts of stevia are the Scientific Committee on Food SCF, and the European Food Safety Authority EFSA. They set the acceptable daily intake of steviolglycosides as up to 1.8 mg per pound of body weight or 4 mg per kilogram for children and adults. Despite the FDA and other food regulatory agencies approving stevia, it's important to remember that stevia products are varied. Many of them contain stevia that's highly refined and combined with other sweeteners, which can influence its effect on health. Research is still limited on less processed forms of stevia, and even further research is suggested on the refined commercial forms. The overall consensus is it's best to consume stevia in moderation to avoid or minimize its negative impact on health. So with what's currently known about stevia, should you consume it? I say only in moderation and go with pure stevia extract. Ultimately, stevia will affect everyone differently. This is one ingredient that if you don't know if you have a sensitivity to it, you should sample it, such as adding a few drops of pure extract in your drink to see how it affects you. If you have a medical condition, are taking medications to control or treat a condition, are pregnant, or have any concerns, speak with your healthcare provider or avoid the sweetener. Though stevia is very sweet and a little goes a long way, some have stated that over time it triggered them to consume more of the sweetener, so it may trigger cravings though there is no scientific evidence to confirm this. Many recommend to avoid whole stevia leaf or crude stevia extract since the FDA hasn't approved them and since there's not enough research out there to confirm their impact on health. Other ways to sweeten foods naturally is through dried fruit and fruit-based sugars such as monk fruit extract and date sugar. I have yet to research these two sweeteners fully in terms of their impact on health, but they are currently popular options for those who want to reduce their sugar intake while still enjoying naturally sweetened food and drinks. And that's it. I hope I clearly explain what stevia is and whether it's a truly safe sugar alternative. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and share so others looking to understand the sugar substitute stevia more can discover this video. Subscribe for more whole food and nutrition videos and until next time, take care.